before starting the video to like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So our today's topic is about laughing at Trump. Here are some other jaw-dropping human moments. From Khrushchev pounding his shoe on desk to Castro's long rambling speeches, the Cuban has hosted its fair share of memorable, unconventional, and sometimes shocking moments. The laughter was sudden, loud, and unexpected. It came at the expense of U.S. President as he addresses global leaders at the U.N. and it was witnessed by an audience of tens of millions online as well. The laughter followed Trump boost that, in less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. Clearly startled by the laughter, he joked that it wasn't the reaction he expected. Nonetheless, it was a jaw-dropping moment in the hallowed hall, where war and peace, prosperity and famine and plenty has been passionately discussed over the decades. Let's have a look at some other moment that shocked Journal Assembly. Khrushchev shoes. Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev did more than raise a few eyebrows in 1960, as the Cold War raged when he pounded his shoes on a desk in fury. It happened after the head of a delegation from the Philippines criticized Moscow from restricting the freedom of Eastern Europeans. His granddaughter later wrote that he was wearing new shoes that were tight, so he took them off while sitting. She and his interpreter said that when Khrushchev stood up, he pounded the table so hard with his fist that his watch fell off, and when he went to retrieve it, he saw the shoes and switched to banging that inside. Arafat Olive Branch and Gun Yasser Arafat was the embodiment of the Palestinian quest for independence, a road littered with displacement and death. In 1947, he was invited to president the Palestine Liberation Organization and his people before the world body, where he made it clear he was ready to use any means for statehood. He spoke of oppressed people and liberation the world over. Fearing his trademark kafia scarf, he concluded with an enduring quote, Today I have come bearing an olive branch and freedom fighter gun. Do not let the olive branch fall from my hand. Castro Long Speeches Cuban leader Fidel Castro gave many speeches at the UN, railing at those he characterized as his country's capitalist oppressors. The UN asked leaders to keep their speeches brief, but that was never for Castro. His general assembly address in 1960 was timed at 4, 1 by 2 hours. Clad in his trademark green military fatigues, Castro said that revolution he led 20th March early had ended the country's status as a colony of the United States. But the U.S. still believed it had the right to promote and encourage subversion in our country. In the rambling speech, Castro defended Cuba's link to Soviet Union, expressed serious concern that America's imperialist government might attack Cuba, and called U.S. President John F. Kennedy an illiterate and ignorant millionaire. Gaddafi goes free farm. Libya's Muammar Gaddafi also had a prediction for long, rambling monologues in his speeches at the world body. His 2009 address clocked 
in at 1 hour 40 minutes. Dressed in following brown Bedouin's robes and a black beret, he chastised the UN for failing to prevent dozens of wars, suggesting that those who caused mass murder in Iraq be tried and defending the Taliban rights to establish an Islamic Emirates. At one point, Gaddafi waved a copy of UN charters and appeared to tear it, saying he did not recognize the document authority. Later that day, British PM Gordon Brown told the Assembly, I stand here to reaffirm the United Nations Charter, not to tear it up. Showers and the Devil the late Venezuela leader Hugo Chavez drew gasp at UN in 2006 when he said of US President George W. Bush, Yesterday the devil came here, adding that the podium still smells of sulfur. The US was at the time heavily embroiled in the Iraq war, which Chavez had vehemently opposed. Ahmadi Najad and 9-11 Iran hardline president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad from the sky to walk out from the assembly in 2010 when he questioned whether the September 11 attack was tech. He suggested an inside job, arguing that only an explorer, not planes, could have brought down the Twin Towers. His visit to New York from fury amongst locals, but delighted the hardline wing in Iran. That's all from our today's video. Stay with us and don't forget to comment your view. Thank you so much for watching.